Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to turn off this monitor for now. Um, so I am I am still recording. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Um, oh shoot! You know what? Uh, you guys can't hear uh, that. So hold on. Um. Okay, desktop audio is on. Uh, yeah, that should be all good. Good to go. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to watch the audio for a bit, but otherwise I am just going to watch this and then turn off the monitor, uh, cause I don't want any kind of spoiler or nothing. Um, and, uh, yeah, anyway, this is just going to be my reaction and I wanted to put it on uh camera cause you know, <sighs> so yeah, uh, Quick predictions. Um, I, I actually have not seen this. Uh, and the reason being, I was at work. I have avoided all spoilers somehow. It's a miracle that I haven't seen anything yet. Um, I, I had to basically turn off all notifications for all things. And uh, just, yeah, it's been crazy. So, yeah, with that being said, um, I'm expecting, obviously, Smash Reveal. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Dr. Eggman, um, and like that's what D uh, Sakurai tweeted, so that might be it. Um, my wild card pick is always Phoenix Wright, and then uh, I'll just go with Crash Bandicoot for now for the other just general pick. So if it's one of those three, I'll be happy. Um, and uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's... Oh, and uh, Breath of the Wild 2 taking about like 30 minutes of the time, so you know, something like that. And... Uh, Otherwise, updates on Animal Crossing, uh, maybe a new Donkey Kong game. I don't really know, but uh, we'll see. So uh, let's get going and let's get surprised, shall we? Get hype! Yeah! Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, COVID-19. Yep. Yeah, take your time. Everybody take your time. All the devs out there, take as much time as you need, please. Oh, let's go. Guys, it's been 530 days since we last had one of these, and I'm so excited. Oh. Dude, it's insane. Oh. What is this? What? Wait, no. No. Is this... Is it what I think it is? It might be. One day, Pyra just disappeared. Wait, maybe not. Okay. Okay, so is this like a DLC kind of thing? It, it really does seem like it. Okay, okay. I never really... I, I tried to get into Xenoblade 2. I wasn't able to. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere. I thought they were singing for a second. Um, yeah, this has definitely got to be, like, stuff that happens after the main campaign. Was as if she uh, which is cool, which is cool. The people who love this game, good on them. Uh, yeah. This game is really cool, I the think, trace. but it's so hard to get into. Um, what I've been told is that the combat doesn't get good you until you're, like, 60, 70 takes. hours into the game. So, I'm, like, nah, fam. <laughs> I'm not, I can't do that. If it was, like, the only game that this I owned, then I would love it, but, yeah. Myra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because Wait. Wait! No! I got an invitation! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! They were so subversive with that! That's insane! Okay, okay, wow, let's go! Wait! Wait! It's her? Okay, okay. All right, let's see what you can do. Okay, that sounds that seems really powerful. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Yo, it's a separate. Okay. Yo, let's go. Oh, this animation's nice. It almost looks an engine. About a tight spot. Oh, Mithra? let me handle. Yo, Mithra! All right, all right. 
Yes! Oh, let's go! Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Hey, were these guys planning on me? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Yo, alright. Okay, okay. So that's what this kind of character is. I really like that. Oh, she seems so cool. Yeah, she's got a counter. Let's go. Sword character has counter meme. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, and they can switch. Oh, that's so cool. Serious firepower and blinding speed. That's what I'm talking about. Quite the spectacle. Let's go! I can't believe they actually did it. They've been people have been asking for this and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, okay. This is an interesting state. Ah, and Rex gets the help. That's nice. Oh, two different final smashes. Let's go. All right, all right, let's go. Hey, it's your boy. Expected to see you two again. Yo, this animation is nice, though. Now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you. Oh, nice. Fighting words. You forget. We're fighters too. Ah, ah. Okay, okay. I'm down for that. I'm down for this. She looks really fun too. Oh my god. Hello everyone. It's been a while. Goodness. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. We're back in business, boys. We got ourselves a direct. Last year, Let's go. We delivered some news through a series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. Mhm. Mm However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. Yeah, 530 days. We've been counting. <laughs> I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. Thank you. We appreciate your continued support. Yes. Thank you for actually coming back and not just delving okay. into just trailers. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter yes. in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Pyra and Mithra. Man, they now I'm gonna have to try to Blade get back Chronicle into Xenoblade 2. As Rex's two-in-one uh, ally. Please it's so look forward hard, to seeing their moveset in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I, I'm gonna have this to like completely restart March, the game. So we hope you'll stay tuned just a bit longer. So I'm at a point where All I'm right, like... Let's continue oh wait, with our first the fighter's not back until Nintendo June? Switch headlines. Is that what I heard? Oh, frick. Hey, Fall Guys for Switch. Let's go. Nice. Among Us came to Switch, and it's about time for Fall Guys to make it. Oh, wait a sec. Oh! Nice beat drop. That was good. Oh. That gave me chills, man. All right, Fall Guys on Switch. This is really good. This is really good. Fall Some Guys is a good game. I really Fall do Guys. think that Fall Guys is going to outlast the Among Us. I really do. Summer I don't think it, I don't think either of them is necessarily the better game. I just think Fall Guys is going to last longer. You have 22 minutes. Yo, Outer Wilds. Let's go. This game is great. Anybody who hasn't into heard of this or hasn't of played it, you to need to try the it. Secrets left behind it it's, by so, civilization. it's so cool and interesting. You have 22 minutes. It, it's it's After this that, open world the time loop game, and, the and they're like, it's the kind of thing where if you know what you need However, to do, then you can beat the game on your first try. Allowing you to continue exploring and, like, while retaining it's, information It's so interesting you because you're learning about the world and the clues and the hints that you're given are really interesting and they build out the world cycles, and they tell their own story and stuff. The mysteries and hidden in the universe. It's so interesting and every planet that you go to has their own unique what like, messages system will you and gimmick to it. How can you prevent the and sun from exploding? And it's so interesting. Why is the solar system trapped in an endless time loop? It's really cool. Find out 
when the critically acclaimed I, I highly recommend this Nintendo game to Switch anybody in summer 2021. Zelda this summer, all right. Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Oh? Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom, Famicom Detective, Detective Club, The Girl Club. Who Stands Behind. Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. I was about time. to say, this seems like, I mean, Localized Famicom, that's like the Japanese version of the Switch NES, system. right? Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every Yeah, this corner. looks like just a complete remake. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Okay, okay, well. But that's not the only case to crack. Seems interesting, but I don't think it'd be for me. In the other game, You'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Interrogate suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Yeah, I... I, th I think this is cool. I think this is like a, a good... a good remake for whatever it used to be. Um, Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom that, it's Detective not for me. Club, The Missing Heir, and the, Famicom it'll Detective definitely Club, have The Girl Who though, Stands Behind. Of course, it's my way Nintendo of saying Switch I don't May like it. <laughs> Pre-orders begin today no, it's, on it's, Nintendo eShop. It's interesting. It does have its own like style. A new age of battles begins. A new age of battles? Is this like a mobile game type game on the Switch? They've done a lot of those. Uh... Wait, Dynasty Warriors? Hold up. Yeah, that looks like... Okay, this is an interesting art style. Definitely something that we've seen before, the kind of realistic anime kind of thing. Samurai Warriors 5. I... That name sounds familiar, but uh. the latest entry in the Samurai Warriors Koei franchise Tecmo, that is makes coming sense. to Nintendo Koei Switch. Tecmo, uh, does a lot Dive of into Dynasty the history Warriors of stuff. the Sengoku period, as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhiro. Ah, uh, there's the Dynasty Warriors style. The designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash oh, so it's a remake. Moves in electrifying one versus one thousand battles. In Samurai Warriors Five. Slashing its way I, onto Nintendo Switch. I think it's really hard to get a Musou game right. I mean, the power fantasy is there, but it's so easy to just Fast make it a button of masher. Beckons. After 20 long Whoa, years, what? Legend of Mana, featuring remastered HD graphics, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> HD graphics You'll still has pixel art. You'll set off on a journey to find the mystical mana tree seen in a dream. Hmm. Before discovering the world map is empty. During your travels, you'll acquire special items called artifacts. Oh. Place them on the map to bring towns, dungeons, and other lands to life. Oh, so you like make the map yourself? It's up to you on when and where to place artifacts, as well as how to advance the story. Oh, interesting. That's Join a unique idea, actually. Each on their own personal quests. Square off against fearsome monsters. Or take a break from adventure. I'm really curious home. if, because the thing is, like, interesting concepts the music has can be been rearranged for this, but if they're not version, executed properly, you can then between the new arrangements uh, and the original soundtrack, other it, it, features it, it, have been added. It never works well. the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new mini game Ring Ring Land. What? Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch. Oh, oh, June it's Legend. 24th. Oh, it's Legend of Mon Mana, Ma Mana, Mana, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's interesting. Yo, is this Monster Hunter? Yeah, I recognize that rat little boy. Monster Hunter Rise, baby. I'm so excited. Oh man. Rakanakadachi. Ooh, ooh, he looks interesting. He looks fierce. All right. Big ol' rock boy. All right, all right. Gosh, it looks terrifying. Volvedon. 
<laughs> He's kind of cute. He's like a dragon or armadillo kind of guy. Yo, okay. That's true. They've only shown off like one area so far. So it's nice to see. Um, it's nice to see some variants. Yo, that looks sick. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. Fifty years ago, Kamuro Village was attacked by the Rampage, Rampage. and Magamalo. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge go, yet! Go. This is kind of interesting. Oh, dude. Go. Oh, that's interesting. This, this is the Clear Rampage. Yo, that move looks sick! Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, let's go. I wonder if in the rampage that, uh, I'm, I'm wondering if they'll have, like, reduced health or something so you can take them out quicker. How long do you think it's going to last? Oh man, that's so cool. I will say, you know it what? can be really hard we to get into Monster Hunter, right but away. oh man, is it worth They're it. Here to offer assistance. Yo, okay. We must stop the calamity! Alright, alright. March 26th, baby! Let's go! Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Not for me, but that's that really cool. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Although I do from probably Capcom. need a new Pro Controller, but I, I don't like How my controllers to have uh, against these like ferocious a, monsters? a design type Stay like that. Stay tuned for the latest installment in the Monster Hunter series, launching March 26th. Dude, that, that Switch Axe move looks Next, so sick. Please take a look at this. Oh, mystery. <laughs> the fairway is open. Yay, once Mario again. Golf, baby! Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf Please series. Please tell me it has Coming motion controls. Switch. Super rush. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time oh to my think gosh. things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar oh, Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush natural scenery. Oh man, Use Mario Golf greens, baby. Like a shot gauge <laughs> to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. Really? These features can help you ace your shots. Man. In addition to button controls, you can yeah! also use motion controls. Yeah! By motion controls, baby! Like a golf club. <laughs> Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. Oh, let's Let go. Let me easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. Wait, you On move? Top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring what? the heat to Mario Golf. Wait, and hold up. This one, speed Golf? Speed Golf? Here, it's always your turn. Everyone Yo, okay, okay, turn. that's Again, actually kind of sick. Through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing okay. skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Okay, that's so, actually kind of interesting. Did we mention story mode? As a <laughs> Mario Golf has a story as a mode? Excuse me? Your golfing skills while interacting with various oh Mushroom my gosh, Kingdom characters. What? Level up with experience points earned during matches. A then story mode? To really? Stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. You know, golfing skills they the had to get me Mario somehow. Rush swings onto Nintendo <laughs> Switch, okay, but that speed 25th. golf mode Pre actually seems kind of interesting. Pre-orders begin now? Really? Wow, that's wow. The latest game in They're the really Mario trying to hype that up. adds new gameplay for multiplayer modes, as well as the familiar speed golf, golf oh gameplay gosh. with easy-to-learn controls. Please look forward to this Man, game. Man, I want to see somebody Nintendo do Switch. speed golf with motion controls for Let's player. On to and but like, Nintendo you Switch can headlines. actually just like mess people up. <laughs>
Check out these games coming to Nintendo Switch. You can like push people around and mess up their shots or whatever. That'd be so funny. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Oh, hey, Tales from Play the Borderlands. Plays the Hyperion lackey Reese and the quick-witted Connor. For some reason, Fiona I thought this was already on Switch. Recover a mountain of cash. Set between Borderlands 2 or maybe, and 3, maybe I thought it was going to come all five to Switch episodes eventually. Filled with classic Borderlands humor. Gangsters, bandit lords, and vault hunters are just a handful of the obstacles you'll encounter right. in this choice-driven narrative adventure. Embark on a wild ride when Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo cool, Switch cool, cool. March 24th. Also, for those of you who don't know, um, 32 of I'm not looking at chat right now. Classics are coming oh, yeah, to this Nintendo game. Switch. Um, Rewind just because I don't want any spoilers. So. Sorry if you're saying stuff. Uh, I can interact with you and read goods. the comments after the direct. In 1943, the Battle of Midway um, for free. Then purchase but right game now, I'm just getting my pure reaction. add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Ooh. Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later today. Nice. Brains. Oh, uh, what? You just can't get enough of it. In this action game from Aspire, you'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city what? by turning humans into your undead allies. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. Excuse this city me? ain't no match for a dead man. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse eats its way onto Nintendo Switch. Stubbs Switch's the zombie? Pre this game is so weird, man. That that's so weird. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassin. Yo, Travis Wait, Touchdown. Aliens? aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up, is this even the right game? Anyway, after <laughs> annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crass beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. Hey, 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 not so fast. To enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to what? pay off the entry fee. You'll then face off against a slew of unusual opponents. Most of them aliens with some crazy tricks up their sleeves. Study their tactics carefully Whoa, to gain what? the upper hand in combat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, with what? An improved death glove. You'll have access to a variety of deadly skills that can be customized and upgraded before each match. The fate of the world is at stake. So get ready to this game some, seems uh, really meta, aliens have that you can which is probably like the anyway, point it all of makes that. Sense. Oh my when gosh! That, uh, all right, all right, or, all right. You know, hit me with the Akira. Switch, all right. August twenty seventh. <laughs> you can't just toss that in there. Exterminate demons in he heaven. <laughs> this announcer guy. <laughs> As above, so below. Oh. Why do they need assassins in heaven? <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Whoa. Interesting. Whoa, oh, that's, oh, this is interesting. What? So it's like, a deck builder first person shooter? Yourself. Holy cow, that's weird. That is so interesting, actually. God's judgment has nothing to do I don't know if I would play it. Actually, it would depend on the price. If this game was like 10 bucks, I would get it. It's probably gonna be like 20 though. Uncover Heaven's Mysteries in oh, Neon dang. White. Not a, coming not to Nintendo until Switch this winter. winter 2021. Dang. The DC Superhero Girls are here to save oh, the day. Oh boy, DC Superheroes, Hi, let's go. My name's Barbara Gordon. Oh boy. Oh boy. AKA Batgirl. I'm oh, I, always inventing wait, new gadgets Batgirl? to fight crime. Like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's you super know, strong and has heat vision. This is a good kids game. Super breath. Like, uh, let's not forget Wonder like Woman. if I had a kid, An they'd Amazonian probably love this. Who the or a kid that was into this stuff. Like, uh, Along like with DC our friends Green Girls. Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also we have also got a high school, and it's like so cool. Metropolis High School. <laughs> 
sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my best Oh my gosh, friend. shopping! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, hey, I got a comment already! Nice! What? And I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one can oh, see it coming. Man. But when this justice is, uh, calls, uh, you can uh, count on us to answer no matter what. Wow. We've just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. Uh-huh. DC Superhero Girls Team Power Heroic okay, Resource cool, cool. to Nintendo Switch, June 4th. Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. Huh? Yo! Plants vs. Zombies! Battlegrounds, or whatever it's called. This game was actually really interesting when I saw it. Battle for Neighborville Complete Edition on Switch! March 19th! Alright, alright. You know, I always found this game to be kind of interesting because, I mean, I know that, like, oh, class systems exist or whatever, but I don't know. These guys seem really unique. It was always a game that I had heard about and thought, oh, man, I think people can get into that maybe, and then I never hear about it. This music kind of bought them, though. Pre-order now. I'll wait to see if people talk Who about will it. Join you in your adventure. Hint. What? Anyone can. Wait, is this? Yo, Metopia. All right. Faces. Yeah. Metopia is coming to Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Oh man, this game Cast was always so cute. In various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies. Or even make someone the nefarious <laughs> Dark Lord. <laughs> Stan. Oh, the Dark Lord Stan. Make a Stan. as a new oh. in this game. Yo! Your and get them ready for you adventure. can, like, make them look nice. There's Although also that, a new wig that feature. mouth looks really Letting weird. you go wild with your me creations to make them even more fabulous. Dude, okay. That's actually kind of nice. Can we get in that as, like, standard? Relationships are Please? Key. That'd be really so cool. consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. It's kind of nice that you can make your me characters like more anime. <laughs> if your relationship sour, though, things might take a turn for the worse. <laughs> yeah, super cute Whoa. game. You can have a horse as an ally. That sounds pretty <laughs> barn good. Care for no. It, and it'll lend a hand. No, no, not the pun. <laughs> Why the pun? Adventure with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp. Stan. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Stan's my worst enemy. Nobody stands Stan. <laughs> on Nintendo eShop. All right. That was a neat surprise. Super Mario Ooh. themed items are coming all right, to All right, all right. Animal Crossing and Super Mario? Let's see. Super Mario Ooh. Brothers 35th anniversary themed items are coming yeah. to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Yeah. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and oh, the that's Question great. Block can be ordered in the Yo, you can collect items. the coins. That's nice. So place them however and wherever you'd like. That's kind of neat. You can also place two warp pipes. Warp pipes? Wait, they actually work? No. Yo! Locations on that's your actually kind of neat. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? That's kind of neat, actually. That, that actually adds function for the game into the game, and not just like, oh, it looks nice. After downloading it, that's Super Mario cool. Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Okay, okay, cool. That's neat. Keep an eye that's on the neat. official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Nice. Man, I love Animal Crossing. I wish I played it more, but we hope you continue enjoying so life cool. on your island. Hey, and it's available. Oh, update coming February twenty fifth. Okay, that's really soon. Though. That's that? like next week. These collaboration items will be released a little over as a part week. of the Super Mario Brothers thirty fifth anniversary events. Yeah. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, 
Last week, we had the global launch for the yes. Super Mario 3D World. Oh man, my roommate Bowser's has that game. game. It's such a good game. We hope you I enjoyed probably would get it myself if I hadn't played well. it previously on the Wii U, but it's really good. Next, we have it's another so game cool. to show you. Okay, okay, this might be something. Oh. To each their own convictions. Those who value virtuous morality. Those who respect the liberty of all. Those who pursue pragmatic utility. What ideals will you assist? Interesting. The latest in the HD 2D series. Ooh, wait a minute! Yo! This is a uh, Octopath Traveler vibes in it. Yeah, oh, look at that, look at that. Okay, okay. Okay, this actually looks pretty nice. Must decide how we proceed. Follow your chosen path leader. to the end. You must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Together with these Oh man, so you burn. Octopath Traveler music is really I good too. To do all Back to low car RPG that will test the courage, safely, courage of your convictions. Okay, okay. Triangle strategy? Ooh. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia. Okay. Comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant mm. feuds among the nations over these precious resources eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. <laughs> Though the How hostilities creative. ceased with an uneasy truce, decades later the flames of war threatened to engulf the realm once again. You are all that remains. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies. It definitely a still group looks from like Glenbrook it's fights to save in, their kingdom uh, production. from the powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Our benefit, you say. Ah! Ah! Battle system, here we go. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on two oh! different elevations. A character's attack range is determined by their location and their equipped okay. weapons. Okay, yeah, we go in a bit of fire emblem with by this. attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons yeah. such as bows and arrows. Okay, Thus, okay. your forces can use the terrain. I'm glad and that they're experimenting with different the upper hand. I'm glad they're not just An doing enemy the same thing. Again. is susceptible not only to your initial attack but also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. Ooh. Ooh. You can flank people. That's okay. I'm glad they're not just doing Fire Emblem. They're actually adding some interesting stuff for a to this. Attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Whoa, then wait, electrify what? electrify the area with lightning magic. Yo. Yo, it okay, is okay. It's most important to survey the battlefield before this is action. This is pretty creative, actually. All right, I'm de I'm definitely gonna get this actually. Throughout the story, you will Just be from faced with system. making important decisions in a variety of situations. Utility, morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who will join your cause. Interesting. So different Once people more, can join I you. would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esdrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are set up oh, by vote man. on the All scales All right, critical of decisions. Use that's good. That's good. Gathered to sway allies toward your If your decisions cause. actually matter and actually change the course the of the story, story that is based amazing. on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish that if that's the case. To us. If that's the case. Lies! His hand was forced. As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Triangle Strategy, a brand new tactical RPG I bet from Square that it's Enix, still going to be called Triangle Strategy when it, when it launches. Please be on the lookout for more information oh, man. in the future. Take your time, Devs. Obviously, take your time. A demo version of this game Ooh, yes, will be yes, to yes, 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 yes. E Debut demo, baby. Future, we'll conduct a survey to oh, gather let's player go. feedback. I loved that demo of uh, Octopath when they did that, so this is really nice.
And good on them Please for taking the time. To future updates on this brand Goodness. new tactical RPG. I really do think Cyberpunk scared okay. every single Let's developer in existence to Nintendo take their Switch time headlines. with games. Never release an unfinished game, guys. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? Okay, what is this? Calling all hunters. Ooh, Star Wars? Okay. Okay, this is cool. Star Wars Hunters. Okay, that's all we're getting. Okay. Um, Star Wars Hunters is a competitive okay, free-to-play cool. online game set between episodes 6 and 7. Clash in this third-person ah. shooter coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. Free-to-play multiplayer. All right, let's Doesn't do this. sound great, but... <laughs> no. Do I look at you Wait, or what? the camera? Knockout City interviews, take one. We all play for different reasons. What? <laughs> Gorgon love battle. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery, Wait, what is this? a soul devouring crossbow. A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. In my line of work, bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of what doom. What Just this? once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's simple. Gorgon want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. I can catch bullets. What? <laughs> Yo, dodgeball. Okay, all right, all right. Multiplayer dodgeball in a battle royale setting? Let's go. I'm down for that. I'm down for some multiplayer dodgeball. Let's go. Be the ball. Yo. 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 <laughs> okay, team. They may have won the battle. Okay, okay, I'm down day. for this. Can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. <laughs> Yo, oh, that's so cool. Oh, interview's over. Oh, come on, man, one more game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hope that game's good. I really hope it's good. It looks like it's almost there. It just needs a little the fight bit of for polish survival to it. Starts now. Fight for survival. Hang on tight, cause you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape oh. series comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the 12 of you, known as the Go-Getters Club, must now survive this game of fate at all costs. Interesting. I don't Scare you all, oh, dude, I bet Ellie is, gr uh, is so excited. Is what? The game is suddenly called off. What? You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey Wait, across the country that blends side scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. Be the one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges um, and monsters that stand in your way. Uh, what awaits okay. you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, venturing onto Nintendo huh. Switch, May 28th. Um, huh. I'm... Wield the hmm. powers of Olympus. Yo, Hades, all right. Olympus. Hades, Hades on the Switch, let's go! Dungeon crawler and recipient of multiple oh, game dude, of Hades Awards, is so cool. Is getting a physical release on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this oh right, comes it's with already a couple on of Switch. Extras to but a physical you release, that's cool, that's cool. The I forgot the that it was on Switch PC because but it's like, Hades it's the version soundtrack. that I own, so like, why? It's packed with two Yo. and a half hours of blood-pumping music composed by Darren Corp. Known for his work on previous Super Giant titles like Transistor and Bastion. Dude, the, the Hades soundtrack is, is so cool. Full color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's Ooh. vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by oh, Super Giant's so art sick. director Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with a compelling story. Yeah. 
escape the underworld again or Hades for the first so time cool, with the physical version if you of Hades played it, you need on to March try 19th. It. It's the one like roguelike Three game that I actually enjoy. Games, one masterful collection. Ah, oh, Ryu Hayabusa. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And Ninja Gaiden 3 this is a Edge series of games coming that to I never Nintendo Switch uh, as the action packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I mean, I, okay, I heard about it, but like I never I never played you them. You are the legendary ninja. I never knew Hayabusa, about them until I was fighting older against and a great I was evil like with already battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer like, weapons. They already each stopped offering making a play them. style with different set of lethal skills, along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. <laughs> Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. I wonder if it's good. And I, I, I don't hear anybody talking about it, so destiny. maybe maybe when this re-release or whatever All comes around, people will be like, oh, here's what's good and, and bad about are included. it. I mean, if it's good, I might be the interested, but... Ninja Gaiden we'll in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Wait, I wonder if they're going to do this and then be like, hey, here's a new Ninja Gaiden. Or, like, there's one in the works or something. I wonder if they're gonna do that kind of thing. Oh, no. Okay. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Ooh. Age of Calamity. DLC for Hyrule Warriors? Expansion pass, nice. Ooh, new added uh, weapon, new costume, expanded roster, and I couldn't read the rest of that. You could have given me a little more time. There's even more coming to Nintendo Switch. Yeah, briefly to Let's go. Here. Four heroes of light will soon embark on a journey to restore the crystals. Use the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn based Bravely battles. default is interesting. Veterans um, and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. The way that I've heard it is that if you like JRPGs a trailer for Bravely and default you only play one at a time, this presentation. it's a good game. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. I don't think I would be interested available. in it. If only because I would need to put the so much time into it in order to enjoy Ghosts it. Ghosts and Goblins but, yeah. series comes to life. Hey, As Ghosts and Goblins. Knight Arthur, you'll Super unleash weapons, difficult game. spells, and skills to battle monsters across challenging stages within the demon realm. Local co-op play is also available for the first time. Local co-op? Arthur co -op? And his quest with one of three supporting characters. Okay, okay. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins huh. Resurrection right. launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> All right. Eight protagonists, eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Travel through a stunning sci-fi world with another any of the obscure RPG that I don't with know with their own about. stories. With the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, new gameplay features, you know, exhilarating somebody battles, out there is and really a new happy right the now. You know. Celis. Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. You know, if I hear about it, Apex I'll be interested. Apex Legends is storming onto the Nintendo Yo, Switch Yo! Apex Legends! Battle Royale features a oh, that resolution looks terrible. <laughs> Legends, combat, not that I'm surprised, but play, yeah. And more. All players on Nintendo Switch I've heard good, I've, I mean, legendary of course I've heard speed. great things about Apex Legends. It's been for the really great ever since it came pass. out. Like, Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo Switch. Cool. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when cool. Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's How's a game that I so could far? like, but it would take so There's long for me to start liking. a little liking. bit more to show you in today's <laughs> Nintendo Direct. Oh, just a little so bit more? stick with us. A little bit more? Next, yeah. please take a look at this. All right, what you got? What you got? Yeah! Hello, yeah! Yeah! Let's go!
I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Y yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Oh. <laughs> we apologize. Okay. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Okay. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Okay. Thank you. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. All right, what you got? What you got? Hey! All right, all right, all right. I'm down. I'm down for playing this game again. I know everybody hates it, but, like, I actually really liked it. It was the first Zelda game that I completed, so I'm down. Yeah. Oh, man. The combat in this game was actually pretty cool. It was very immersive. I wonder how they're gonna do the motion controls, or if you just will have to do it. Yeah. Skyward Sword HD, baby! Alright, alright! I'm down, I'm down. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming yeah, to Nintendo Groose. Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which yeah. players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With right. the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Oh, so and you're we've still recreated doing the control. controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Oh, what? The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Wait. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. Wait. Are you telling me that the, the Joy-Con left controller Joy -Con... in your left hand is the shield? By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Oh. Okay. I thought it was going to be more like. You can like, perform other actions like, like using could... both controllers yeah, to okay. wield a bow and arrow. These physical That's movements add a neat, sense though. of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure nice. it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. Nice. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Oh, really? That's, hmm, okay. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Yeah. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally. Interesting. Just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Okay, I mean. Here's something else yeah, we've been working on. That makes sense. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Okay, okay. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian shield motif. Mm. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting okay. the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. Nice. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Yeah. It's a good game. It's a good game. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD I don't care what people say. It's a, I, I enjoyed it. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. Okay, okay. And the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was true. still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse true. into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, true. using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, yep, even the concept that. of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope True. those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Yeah. I I might get that. I might. It was Please the first game I ever the, of Zelda the first Skyward Zelda game Sword I ever HD. completed, so it, it's got some heavy nostalgia for me actually. Okay. Well, what did you think? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. It includes right, intuitive right. motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last announcement All right, for today. The one Please more take a thing. Look at this. All right, what you got?
Metroid 4 Bayonetta 3 maybe? Or is it Star Fox? Or is it Donkey Kong? I don't know. What is it? What is this? Um, Old Western, Old Town, Splatoon? What? what? Wait. Yo, Splatoon 3? Splatoon 3 maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Or is it something different? Okay. I like the ponytail, or the, the braided hair. Little buddy's turn. Wait, so is this like an adventure game of sorts? Interesting. I'm actually kind of down for this. It's not hype exactly, but it's it, it, it's it's interesting. I would not expect this direction. It definitely feels like a spin-off series, but we'll see. I mean, I like her already. Yo, there's a city in the background. Ooh, yeah. I like... Okay, okay. This is nice. Okay, music's coming in. All right, something. Yeah! Ooh, spicy! That's spicy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ooh, ooh! Ooh, ooh! Wait, huh? Yo! Okay, okay! Ooh, 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 ooh! ooh. Alright, alright, alright! Yeah! Okay, it is just Splatoon 3, let's go! Oh, yes! I can get back into this game now. <laughs> oh, baby, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, the little buddy. Yo, yo. All right, all right. Oh, back into the ink. 2022. Okay, that's what I thought, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, yes. Splatoon 3. I was not expecting more this than one entry on the Switch, but let's go. So it'll be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned. Eh, a little over a year. At a later time. It's all right. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of not games a lot of are them are coming out this year. And we look forward to sharing more news with you like in the future. Like Skyward Sword. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Um, Thank you for watching. Um, yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's it. And the rest is just, yeah. Wow. Okay, I can look at chat now. Uh. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Bim. <laughs> I, I see you. <laughs> Oh man. Woo! That was ah, I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, um let's let's go over the announcement the like all the all the stuff real quick just to gather my thoughts. Uh and uh, I'm going to mute this so we can kind of go over it playback speed 1.5. There we go. Uh so yeah, Pyra and Mithra in Smash. I wonder what they're going to name her, like Pyra and Mithra, I guess, or maybe just, I don't know. Uh, they might do like an alternate costume thing where you can start as one or the other, or not an alternate costume thing, but like, like you could just start as one or the other and have it be like you kind of like how you switch between Echo Fighters. That's how you'd select it. But yeah, um, <laughs> once again, 
I don't think anybody was expecting this, mostly because, you know, we thought that there wasn't any chance and we were expecting some crazy out there thing to happen, like, you know, like Dr. Eggman or, uh, well, I guess Dr. Eggman's not really out there, but, um, like, uh, Crash Bandicoot or Dante or Monster Hunter or whatever. Um, she looks really fun, though, uh, so I'm I'm really excited for that. Um, I can definitely see people getting upset about it, but, you know, I think that's cool. Fall Guys coming to Switch, that was completely expected, um, and, uh, yeah, I am excited for it. Uh, a bunch of games I don't really care about too much. Oh, yeah, Monster Hunter is looking great. It's looking awesome, dude. Um, uh, yeah, I am definitely a Monster Hunter guy. I played a lot of World, um... And, uh, uh, my first game was, like, Ford Ultimate. Uh, I also played some Generations and other stuff. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mario Golf is so unexpected. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody was expecting another Mario Golf. And, I mean, it seems, eh. But then Speed Golf is a thing, and they have a story mode. And I'm like, what is this? Mario Tennis Aces? Like, dude. Um, speed golf seems kind of fun, actually. Uh, and it looks like you're able to upgrade your stats, it looks like, so that's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, I'll wait for the reviews on this one, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, what was this? Oh, Tale of Borderlands. Eh. Uh, Travis Touchdown, oh, I'm gonna wait for, on, for reviews on that one. Um, it seems like its style is really interesting, but, yeah. Uh, Neon White... Oh, yeah, the, the deck-building FPS shooter. That was really interesting. Um, I'm excited to see how that does, you know? I might even try it. I don't know. Um, yeah, there was that. There was that. Metopia. Yeah, that was fun. Um, probably not going to get it, but there are some people that really love the Mii series. Um, like... It depends on the price for me. If it's, uh, th it'd be a kind of game that I pay like fifteen, maybe twenty four, um, depending. New Animal Crossing update is nice. Um, you know, uh, oh yeah, Triangle Strategy definitely a game I'm going to get. That look, that game looks sick. Uh, looks like it's definitely in beta. It definitely needs a little more time in the oven, uh, which is not, which is good because they are going. You know, it's not coming out until next year, so good. Um, but yeah, and uh, the battle system being kind of a... I think Pokemon Champions did this or something like that. Um, so, like, it's not exactly original, but it is a good battle system. And what's nice is that they're doing the Fire Emblem fight style without it being exactly Fire Emblem, so I'm very excited for that as well. And also, it's, you know, it's the guys who made Octopath Traveler, and which is a fantastic game. Y'all should get it. Y'all should try it. It's it's really good. The music, the art, all of it. It's It's just great. Uh, Star Wars Hunters, um, yeah, need to see more about that. Uh, <laughs> freaking, oh my gosh, multiplayer dodgeball. I, that's a game I'm actually excited for. Let's go. And then Hades, yeah, all, everybody play Hades. Skyward Sword, uh, I don't care what you think about that game, I'm probably gonna get it and play it. Um, I enjoyed it when I played it. And then Splatoon 3. Like... I thought this was going to be some adventure game at first, but it turned out to be Splatoon 3. And, uh, yeah. And obviously this is, like, leading to some, like, story mode, adventure mode kind of thing. Since you have, like, your little buddy or whatever. Um, I don't know if that's something that you can bring into battle, though. But I'm glad that they're actually just doing a Splatoon 3. Um, Splatoon 2 got huge for a while. Um, and it'll probably spike in popularity again. Uh, after this, uh, but dude, this was so cool to see again. Um, oh man, I am very excited for that. Man, I need to get back into Splatoon too. It, it's got such a cool, uh, a, such a cool thing to it. Like it's such an original idea, and Nintendo took a risk on that new IP, and they just nailed it. And I'm glad that they're continuing um, with this IP because it really deserves all the love it's getting. So yeah, um, that being said, that was my reaction, boys. 
uh, yeah, and that'll be it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I am going to go eat something uh, because I have not eaten anything since like three o'clock. Um, and even though it was just a couple pop tarts. So uh, I'm going to go eat something and then kind of chill for the night. So y'all have a good night. I'll see you later. Bye.